Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the channel. Things just get better and better for the caffeinated fans. I think it's cans number five now, I think it is, but I don't personally drink alcohol anymore. I just got out of full prop. But anyway, though, Gary Hoffman, the Premier League chairman, has stepped down due to the caffeinated takeover. I'm not joking, it's dumb. But uh, anyway, guys, as always, if you're new to the channel, you should get down and subscribe. We are just about to hit 14,000 subscribers, I think about 10 off. So thank you so much again. Smash the like button if you enjoy the video. In terms of later on today, I will be at the women's match tonight. So that video should be up just after 10. So between 10 to 11, not too sure exact time. But that'll be up later on the channel. And uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get into the video. So this is the first part we're going to look at here by Sky. So Marks came out yesterday from Sky saying that Hoffman's going to step down and resign due to the Premier League clubs pretty much whinging about the takeover. I mean, let me get this straight. The Premier League clubs want to... Come out and slag off this takeover. Didn't six of these teams leave the league last year to try and start their own little league? I mean, who do they think you are? The big six. I mean, Chelsea's owned by Branovich. Man City's owned by Sheik So Do you want to come out and complain about the Saudi Arabia back in the cast name? Oh, it's, it's embarrassing. I mean, again, you say this all the time. Saudi Arabia is involved with everything in today's world. You log on to Facebook. You log on to Twitter today. You are essentially paying Saudi Arabia. You put petrol into your car, you are paying Saudi Arabia. I mean, you can go about all the time, go about sports. WWE, last week, uh, a couple weeks ago, was in Saudi Arabia. Again, there's so many different things. Uh, it's just ridiculous. But, I mean, again, when you talk about these Premier League clubs, um, it's pretty much yesterday in the sky, they got announced that, like, these clubs felt like, well, blindsided by the takeover. Blindsided? I mean, the takeover, had, the Premier League had no choice but to accept the takeover. How could they be blindsided by it? I mean, it doesn't make any sense. 18 months has been brewing on for. Yes, it's kind of came out of nowhere, but how could he be blindsided by it? They had no choice but to approve the deal. What what, what could he be blindsided by? But, uh, I mean, it's just so embarrassing just to see them sort of chuck the dummies out the pram. I mean, honestly, get a grip. This is the Premier League official announcement on Hoffman. I mean, you have a look at his quotes down there. Oh, I feel like now is the best time for me to walk away. I mean, it's not due to the fact that, I mean, the entire league's against you now, but... Uh, yeah, I look how he's just trying to bush it off, going, oh, I was going to leave anyway. I mean, if the Newcastle takeover hasn't went through, he would still be in that office right now and he'd still be working away. The only reason he's walking away is because he cast it, he got that approved deal. Uh, again, what could he do about it? There's nothing wrong with that deal. How could he come out and say, oh, it's disgusting, this deal? I mean, it shouldn't have happened. The, the, what is wrong with the deal? Well, everything that needed to be sorted with the deal got sorted, which is why it went through. And how could he still come out and complain and go, oh, this shouldn't happen, this shouldn't happen? I mean, it's disgraceful. Again, with someone like Saudi Arabia, they literally own Disney, man. If you go on Disney Plus today, you are paying Saudi Arabia. I keep going on about it all day long. It's incredible. It's absolutely incredible. In terms of human rights, so you've got a team like Wolves in the league, who are owned by Chinese owners, again, with Sheikh Mansur Qatar. I mean... <laughs> How can you complain to Castle? It's so obvious how biased the media is, so biased with these football clubs. It's just bitterness, really. Uh, I see Sunderland fans come out and go, oh, it's disgusting. I would rather be in League One than have these owners. No, you wouldn't. If these owners would win, you'd be buzzing about it. Imagine saying, oh, I'd rather be in League One than have the richest owners in world football. Of course you wouldn't. I mean, it's just embarrassing. It really is embarrassing. In terms of this, again, no, it's just trying to sweep it under the carpet. But it's, just, it's honestly incredible, though. A finish off of this part here, guys. So pretty much a lot of the Castle fans on social media are calling the Premier League corrupt, calling Hoffman corrupt. At first, when I saw those messages, like last year, I was kind of like, if I support an our team in the Premier League, would I really be calling the Premier League corrupt? But there's actual way to it now, though, because again, that day I put up earlier, April 2020, Hoffman came in as the chairman. Well, the first thing he did was stop the Castle United takeover. Well, now that it's been approved, about a month later, he's resigned. You can't say for one second that he hasn't came in just to screw the Castle United, though, because there's actual evidence to it now. This guy has left the second he cast his tail went through. And it really does sort of just put it in your head, like, what's going on here? Because, again, though, in terms of that corrupt claim, there's actual weight to it now, which is incredible. Um, maybe it really is against us, but that's just the thing now. I mean, the, the, the league is literally against the cast. How are we supposed to compete in the league when the entire bunch of boys are against them? But we see how things go, though. I've seen a lot of people claiming that the penalty are going to block teams in cast. I don't agree with that one personally because... Imagine a team like Norwich are going to get relegated this season. If we went up to Norwich with a bunch of money trying to buy one of the players, they're obviously not going to say no. Of course, they're going to approve the deal. But, yeah, I don't personally believe that. Well, I do think that Premier League teams will tax the cast. I think we will get a big tax for having that money. I feel like we will get charged a lot of money for these players. But I still think they will definitely accept money for these players, though. But, uh, anyway, that's pretty much it for the video today, guys. I mean, let me know your thoughts down below. <laughs> It's incredible. The Newcastle win again, you could say. We've won so many times this season, we haven't won a football pitch here. But 
Anyway, guys, before I finish the video, I'm going to quickly put John Sinclair's clip on at the end. Thank you so much, by the way, John. I was in his live stream yesterday. I'll put his channel link down below. Make sure you go check him out. Absolute legend for this. But anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I'll see you all tonight. Hopefully, your channel, let's hope your channel increases all the time. You're doing a fantastic job. In my opinion, please, please ignore the hate as do what you do is right. Carry on what you're doing. We love your content. And even my guys, Paul and Baza and all my mates as well, enjoy your chat as well. And I really mean that because um, I think you'll be the next best thing on here.